oil filter is out. This is the filter nut seal. I'm dumping my uh, my jug sideways. This is the new filter going in place. This is my uh, drain plug. There you go, everybody. Welcome back. It's uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, almost uh, almost afternoon, and I'm uh, home alone, unsupervised, no adult supervision. Life with Michelle is off with Grammy on a whirlwind adventure. Actually, they're going to a, a baby shower for my daughter. So in the meantime. I'm going to try to get some things that are on the house. I'm out of work today. I got off today. Try to get some Saturdays off. My game plan today is change oil in my truck. Now. Do that. It's uh, end of uh, August here. We're approaching fall real fast. I want to get this done before snow flies. I don't be out here in October doing this. For one, it's deer season. Plus, it's cold. <laughs> so I'm going to start at it here. I'm going to get in here and get my things together and uh, get going. I'll show you how to do this. All right. I got some, got some things together here. Got my trusty 15 16ths, my oil, my filter, my catch pan. Let's get to it. See that guy right there? Can you see that guy? Turn the light on so you can see him. There you go. That's the drain plug. A 15 millimeter drain plug. I'm going to pull it out and get the oil draining out. On this one, let me show you where the filter is. Right there is the uh, oil filter. That's next on my agenda. Let's get this drain plug going to get him out. It's pretty dark, doesn't it? it ain't black black, but it's definitely darker, so it's definitely need to be changed. I'll just drain for a bit and I'll do the filter in a minute. Why well, I got this thing out, I'm going to look at the bolt. This is my uh, drain plug. Look at the hex. Make sure the hex isn't all chewed up. You see that? That isn't too bad. If you're doing an oil change, but if you're doing your own oil change, double check that. If, you, if, if it looks all rounded and whatever else and tore up pretty bad, go ahead and replace it. I mean, it ain't much. I'll probably go ahead and buy one of these next time I go to the hardware or the uh, parts store. This is getting a little rounded. I'll have one for next time. This is okay for now. The last guy that did this, he over tightened this filter. So I had to use a pair of pliers, channel locks, to get it out. I'm taking the time to wipe all the extra oil off from all the drippings and droppings I left. This will help me later, if I have any oil leaks in my driveway or wherever I'm seeing, determine where it's coming from. Is it the filter not sealed? Is it this not sealed? Or is it something else leaking someplace else? Just to ensure that I did a, a proper job, I'll check this later on to make sure it's not leaking the filter. I'm gonna put it on real tight. I put them on just hand tight. Any tighter than that, they're a pain to get off. I'll show you how I had to get it off when I get out of here. This is the filter that I had to destroy to get out. And I usually did grab a whole little pair of pliers like this, a pair of channel locks, like that, and turn it. I've had, I actually have used screwdrivers in the past to drive through the side of it, to go all the way through, and then use it to pry it this way. But you want to watch doing that because this thing is recessed all the way up in. So on this side here, all the way around here, halfway around this thing, is my oil pan. And I don't want to drive a screwdriver with my oil pan. That's kind of defeating the whole purpose. So be careful how you do this. Oil filter is out. I'm going to take this new filter, fill it full of oil, and then put it back in. Never put a dry filter, empty filter, in your in your vehicle because that time it takes to fill the filter up, you can do damage to your motor. So I always put oil in here. Now, this one here goes straight up and down like this. Okay, it hangs straight like this. Now, occasionally, you're going to come in from the side. So you can't put full of oil, but you have to put something in it. Put a little bit of oil, a little, little oil in it. And basically, you got to figure out where it's going to tip to go against your, your block. Add some oil to it, put it in, wind it on. If you lose a little oil on the side, no big deal. Wipe it off and you're done. Make sure it's good and tight. Don't over tighten it. And ready to go. Adding some oil in here. Try to do this without spilling over the back of the tailgate. I see I was kind of sitting filtering down through, soaking into that filter. Also, when you're done, when you get this thing filled up, that's probably all I'm gonna put in there. 
take a little bit of oil and go around the outside rubber seal. It helps get a better seal. Not a lot, just enough to get it wet. Now, let's bring it back in. I'm going to put my drain plug back in. So they're filling full of oil. This is the new filter going in place. Just starting to screw it on there. Screw it on nice and easy and slow. Get snug. Give it a good turn with your hand. Done. Lock away. Drain plug. Now this, I will use my ratchet for. Okay, we are good to go. We are ready for oil. This is my uh, oil filter, my oil fill. I got a funnel in there waiting on that. I may get my dipstick out. I'm going to leave it out until I get it close. Um, just voice of force of habit. I've learned over the years is adding oil. It all depends on where your drain plug is, where your oil fills back into your block, and where your dipstick is, whether you're getting false readings or not. So I'll just leave it out until I get it close. I'm going to start putting it, start putting him in there. Once I get him, uh, well, I'll say probably three or four quarts, I'll check it. Take it back out, check it, and keep adding until I get to it. It'll probably take all that, and it should take most of the yellow one. Okay, here we go. That's about three quarts already. A little bit more. Okay, that's about a little over a quart. Get my dipstick out. Make sure it's clean. Wipe off of the rag. This one here is a spiral, which is kind of a pain, but it is what it is, right? My marks are right there. Okay, put him in, shake him around a little bit. Pull it out and check it. Not on the stick yet, it's okay. I'll go ahead and dump the rest of this in. If you ever noticed, I'm dumping my, uh, my jug sideways. It's easier to go. If you go this way, you get a lot of air bubbles, okay? If you go sideways, you don't get the air. It pulses, it cavitates. And start sucking air. This way you get more airflow this way. You do that with quartz too. Put the dipstick in. See, we're on about the third line. I'm going to add a little bit more and call it done. It's good and wiped off, nice and clean. Sons of my eyes, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. All the way to the top. Can you see that? This job is done. Put my cap back on here. Put it in. Give it a couple turns. There you go. Oil has changed. We are good. Anyways, take, take care. Talk to you later.